All right, here we go. Welcome, everybody, to the Tuesday evening screencast video coaching call. My name is Lon Naylor. I'll be your host tonight. Let's go over to Camtasia and play with some stuff, shall we? Color bar text effect. Let's create us a little text effect in Camtasia 2020 and higher that kind of looks like this. Okay, clean, simple, kind of interesting and nice though. And of course you can do all kinds of variations that we'll touch on, but let's uh, maybe do this from scratch real quick. So I'm going to go to annotations and the callouts, add yourself a text callout, okay? And let's see, I'm going to use one of my favorites that I have here. I'm just going to add me a text box. Okay, and we'll just type in some text. And we're going to make it the size and position and all that good stuff that we want. This would be good for like title clips, you know, stuff like that. And get everything kind of lined up and put where you want it, size-wise, all that good stuff. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to click on it. I'll put my playhead at the beginning. I'm going to click on it, right click, copy, and right click or control V and paste. Okay, so now I have two copies of this text box. Okay, exact copies. And what I'm going to do is on my top copy, I'm going to change it to a different color. Okay. Now let's go, let's add us a shape on top of that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create myself a map. And I'm going to probably make this oh, about the width of a character. Size it up just a little bit like this. And I'm going to put it just to the left of my text. Okay, now let's move the playhead in a bit, select the shape, and I'm going to drop a custom keyframe. Okay, shift A. And then let's move our shape to just after the text. Like that. Make it a little longer. Make it move a little slower. And so basically all we've done is animated a box that wipes across our text. Okay, so now let's try this little guy. Let's right click on the track that has our shape and let's set an alpha mat. When I do that, what happens? What happens is you're only going to see whatever is under the mat shape, aren't we? So now, what is under the mat shape? Okay, so that is the red text copy. Well, I can't see that yet, but I can see the white text copy. Why? Because track mats only affect, only affect the track directly beneath it. Okay, so I can't see on the red text yet until the animation starts and the box moves across. So all that's being revealed here is whatever's directly underneath this shape. What's directly underneath this shape? Well, our different colored version of the text, right? So that's kind of the scoop. Let's play it. And you get kind of an interesting little effect there. Now you can, of course, play with all different kinds of stuff here. Oh, uh, let's try this. Let's delete that. Let's add us a circle instead. So we could maybe do, I don't know, hold the shift key. I'm just playing around here. Uh, maybe make it more like a spotlight kind of a thing, right? Okay, so let's put that there. 
Let's add us a keyframe. And let's move this guy through. So you can also use different shapes and stuff like that. I could use diagonal shapes. You could use, you know, all kind of different kinds of stuff. But the key point here is that just to kind of be aware of the technique and how mats work in general. So once this is done, I can select my track mat and my text layer, right click group, turn off the track mat, and now I have me a kind of cool little effect, right? Robert says very slick. Yeah, I like it. Yeah.